here I am with the famous UEA cigarettes or over there because uh, I've just you know been to the art center slash uh, Avengers base that is um, the Sainsbury Center for Visual Arts and it was really fantastic honestly there's um, two really good exhibits that I saw number one was one on Paul Nash the second one was by a Bangladeshi British artist, Rana Begum. Uh, she's mainly focused on making people aware of space and of the environment, so particularly light. So it's filled with all of this, you know, artwork, like these abstract folded structures or things that, you know, reflect the light back and so take on this almost ethereal glow. I can't really overstate how much I like that. Apparently, you know, it's influenced by constructivist art and the Dutch de Stijl style but I don't really know I'm currently reading this fantastic book on um, modern art but yeah I'll be darned if I can actually you know explain all of it de Stijl was a group of Dutch abstract artists and Dutch for style. It was also a 1917 publication started by Theo van Doisberg and Piet Mondrian, uh, which is all about communicating in large Mondrian ideas about abstract art and the ideas of non-representational painting. So forms and how we can, you know, communicate motions and balance with only horizontal and vertical lines and plain blocks of colour and only primary colours of that. Um, it lasts till about 1923 when Mondrian left because Doisberg started including controversial diagonal lines. But it was all about balancing colour and space, but not actually representing life, simply form, abstraction. Constructivism started in 1921 with Vladimir Tatlin, who was producing 3D structures, um, but they weren't representing anything either. Unlike sculpture before, this was abstract. They were forms that were meant to be appreciated by themselves. But also they removed the idea of pretension in art. So that meant modern, very fixed materials like metal being curved or glass or wires. So nowadays such other modern materials might be carbon fiber or plastic. So with both, it's no longer about representation, it's purely abstract. And so with the combination of the two, um, you get this wonderful artist who produces these convoluted 3D shapes that have plain blocks of colour on them and manipulates them to great effect. Yeah. But I can see it is approachable. It was really, you know, a lot of fun. Uh, Rana Begum's work just had this physicality and this awareness of its environment. You want to go there, you know, it's sunrise, midday, sunset, just to see how it plays in the different kinds of light, which I find fantastic. I really like work that interacts with its greater environment, that is, you know, aware and present. Right, as far as I can tell, my bus is coming, so I think this is a good, as good a time as any to finish the video. Uh, thanks for watching. I think next time I'm going to talk about some new science. Anyway, bye.